Hello everyone, this is Aethodus again, and welcome to another Terror Engine Story Creator tutorial. In this one, it'll just be a nice short one, and just talk about the map generator, what it can do, some little things about it, and some do's and don'ts. So, we'll just go right on ahead, and click on the map generator button, and it'll bring up this little nice menu. So, easily as you can figure out, global size, medium, large, huge, tiny and small. Just keep in mind if you're going for a huge it's going to be huge and it can potentially take a long time to load up and there's going to be it's well huge. We'll stick with medium. Max room count. Let's just go ah uh, seven. Maximum room size large huge tiny small medium. Include a ceiling for right now. We'll just don't include it. Include torches. Yeah, we'll throw in some torches in there. Light up the way. All right. Do we want a maze or a dungeon or a sparse? I think is a bit of everything. Uh, let's go with a dungeon. Corridor turns minor, major, straight. Uh, let's do major. Now here you go. This is basically to tell you what texture is going to be what. What do you want your wall texture to be? Best way to find out. Let's hit back. Thanks, Norton. You're very helpful. You click on over here, indoor walls. It'll tell you basically what ID is what. So let's say uh, I want this one. So it'll say right down here, current object ID is ID wall 33. So a wall. We'll just change that to 33. All right. What do we want our floor to be? So we'll go indoor floor, and let's choose. Let's go with this one. So this one says it's ID floor 34. So we'll go back to map generator. 34. And then what do we want to be our doorways? All right, uh, we'll go back to walls and let's make it ID wall 30. 30. All right, now that we should have all our settings, click the nice generate button and there you go. And you can probably tell right away because it has all oh, 239 objects selected it's going to be a little slow so hit enter boom deselected and there you go now all those little effect boxes those are the torches that the generator placed so if you're actually in there you'll actually see the wall torches in the game lighting up the rooms and there's quite a bit and then if we had selected the ceiling on it it would have plopped on a ceiling and you would have been on your way with all the doors set out with a bunch of little rooms it's a whole different kind now of course I can't just control undo or delete so let's see if we can throw in another one uh, only three rooms. Let's go sparse. Same map. So. Yeah, they're only going to spawn in the same area. So, luckily, I made it small. So, we just move it off to the side. It's only two rooms. But, it's a start. So, you can keep doing this as many times as you want. It'll keep importing new generated maps. But, keep in mind, it will get cluttersome and it's not recommended to just keep making new ones and new ones and new ones and not to just have tons of rooms and an endless maze because it can just be just a mess now when I say do's and don'ts well just say well there it's a game put a start put an end put a monster done no 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 
just no because that's just lazy and could potentially not even work because well this little room right here you can see doesn't go anywhere nothing so you actually got to make sure you can actually get everywhere you actually want to actually put details to put in models put in events put in triggers don't just cheap out and say put a couple things in boom done I made a game yay you're you're only halfway done there buddy actually flesh it out make it like finish it throw in decorations actually change room designs add room designs make hallways do whatever this is just the map generator is there to make something quick and then you can play around with it and expand on it it's not to actually make a game for you it's just the start you actually got to go in and put in all the events and your starter points and the monsters and decorations don't be lazy map generator there it's only there just to spur up ideas so this is another just a short little tutorial and just talk about the map generator what things do and see if we can break it break it break it break it don't do what I'm doing oh it actually worked very slowly <laughs> like I said there's there's over 2,000 objects in here now that's why I say try to avoid using the huge because it's just going to murder you even with a supercomputer even with them not selected like you don't want a game like this don't do that could be fun but you're gonna be stuck in there for hours and hours and hours especially when that's almost 3,000 objects that's almost uh, roughly 3 gigs of RAM just this isn't even detailed. There's no start point. There's no monsters. There's no models. So don't. Don't do it. Don't do it. Because no one will play your maps if, if you're going like this. You can just tell just from doing this that I'm getting some frame rate issues from having it maxing out. Don't. Don't do huge. There's a fine line between a nice detailed big map and then this don't do this it's bad but anyways play around with it see what cool ideas you can come up with and happy building